One of the best ways to find hot selling designs, especially when you're just starting, is to replicate what's already working for other sellers on Etsy, right? You want to go see what they're already selling, see what's their best selling designs, and then not necessarily copy that, but replicate that design with your own spin on it. The reason that this works is because that design is already proven to sell on the Etsy platform, right? Now, obviously, you need to do some other things like make sure that it's not super oversaturated with a number of other sellers and that seller that you're looking at is just the first one to rank for it or you know one of the first ones to rank for it but in a nutshell if you're just starting that's one of the best strategies that you can utilize because you're going after proven designs that we know have sold on the platform and if you can replicate them with your own spin or improve upon them then you have a higher likelihood of getting sales rather than if you were just creating designs that you thought were cool the issue with doing that with a lot of newer sellers is you used to either have to be a graphic designer and have some graphic design skills to create these designs or replicate them yourself, or you'd hire a graphic designer, which could ultimately end up being pricey if you're doing a number of designs to get your store up and running relatively quickly. But you don't have to do that anymore with the suite of AI tools that are out there currently. Now, one of my favorite AI tools that's been really cool lately is called ZMO.AI. I've covered countless other AI tools you know, when I'm utilizing them in my own Etsy dropshipping business to create print on demand designs, whether it be for mugs or t-shirts or backpacks or aprons or whatever. But this one is really cool because it comes with a number of different use cases and functions. So if you see here, you have the text input, just like it was mid journey, for example. So you can create AI art, you can create pretty much anything. If you type it in, it's going to give you a number of different options that you can utilize. You can then tweak and kind of create your own art and your own print on demand designs to to put on t-shirts, mugs, or whatever, right? So I'm gonna take you through an example of this here in a second and how you can utilize this to actually replicate other designs that are already proven on the platform, right? Because the issue with mid journey and digital art is like, yeah, it's cool. But again, you're just guessing, you're taking shots in the dark that, hey, you think this design's cool, but there's no proof that it's gonna sell on Etsy. So you're paying 20 cents per listing, just hoping that eventually it's gonna sell. But we're gonna utilize this to replicate other designs that have proven to sell on the platform already and kind of turn them into something similar but different with our own spin and improve upon them. The next thing that's really, really cool is the background AI. Now I've covered this in so many other videos. This is one of the simplest tools online, but it's one of the best tools, especially for print on demand designs, because you can take pretty much any image and just remove the background. And then with this tool, what's really cool is you can remove the background and make it a transparent PMG image, which you can put on anything. So you can put it on like a black t-shirt, a white t-shirt, a red t-shirt, whatever. Or what you can do, and I'll show you this here in a second, is you can take the actual background out and then again, use the same AI text input to create an entirely different background on that same image. So it's really cool. It can adjust the image in a number of ways. And it's perfect for, again, making a proven design, but taking it and putting our own spin on it. So there's a high likelihood that it sells, that Etsy is going to suggest that when other people search for it, and that we're bringing something different to the marketplace. Because if you'll notice, like, for example, if you go to Etsy and let's see like this one right here, Butterfinger or Funny Candy Bar parody, one of the things that you'll notice is if you go to just like the Etsy search bar, and this is, you know, product research 101, you want to make sure that you find something that is hot selling, but isn't super oversaturated. But if we just type this into the search bar, you'll see that there's a number of other sellers all selling the same exact design on the same exact t-shirt, right? It's the same yellow background. They're just copying each other because they know that that design has sold for somebody else. The issue with that is if you're not hopping in early and ranking your product early when somebody searches for a specific keyword or search term, or you're not willing to pay for ads to drive yours up in search results to get those sales, you're really kind of SOL because you're not bringing anything different to the actual market and you're copying the exact t-shirt that other people have already ranked, right? You'll see Butterfinger, 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 Butterfinger finger a little bit of a different color but there's a number of other sellers already selling the same exact t-shirt and obviously we put other keywords in here but if we just go like super broad butterfinger a shirt i bet you there's a bunch of them there we go there we go there we go there we go and you get the picture right this one actually isn't too too bad there's another one so this one actually isn't super oversaturated but i wouldn't recommend doing this anyway because you might get an ip claim because obviously butterfinger is a brand so i would stay away from this anyway but the cool thing about the ai image tool that we just covered is we could take take this same exact t-shirt and we could copy it, make it a little bit bigger. This isn't the best high quality uh, image, but let's go get this one maybe. There we go, that's better. 
and then we'll just take a snippet image of it. You could also just right click and save it, grab the image, save it, and take it back into the background remover. And again, this is why you don't need any graphic design skills because with tools like ZMO.ai, you can just do it all automatically with AI online. It's crazy. Put that in there. It's going to remove the yellow background and you're just going to be left with the butt finger t-shirt. So if you put that in there, as you can see here, it took out the majority of the background. And then what you could essentially do is you could put it on a different color. You could also take it into generate background and then give it some command prompts. So for example, you could upload another image if you wanted to put it on a specific background yourself. So if you had a specific design that you wanted to put on it, you could also click freeform right here and tell it what you wanted to put on it. So if you wanted to put this on like a background full of candy bars, you just say like lots of different candy bars and then put it on a background of lots of different candy bars. And again, then you're bringing a similar shirt that's proven that would show up in search results that we already know is proven on Etsy, like I said, but with a completely different background. So this one isn't the best example of this because it kind of put it at the bottom there. But let me show you a different one. And this AI tool obviously is not perfect, but it is getting better. So for example, if we took this one, this one's a little bit simpler and you might think that like recreating design like this is easy, right? It's just lettering. It's just text. And so I used to think the same thing when I would be like, I'm just going to replicate this design. Like I'm going to take it into Photoshop and I'll type these letters. It'll look very similar and I'll be able to make it on my own. I don't need to hire a graphic designer, but I don't know if I'm just bad at creating, you know, graphic design images, or if obviously my skills aren't up to par with like some of the other people, which they clearly aren't, but it was a lot harder than I actually anticipated even on simple text designs like this. But again, you don't need skills like that anymore because you can just take these. So if we save that and we take it back into the background image remover, paste it in there, it should take the black away. And then we're just going to be left with the text design design so we don't need to recreate it at all and then we could put it on a blue background instead we could put it on a yellow background maybe a white background if we wanted or what we could do is we could go generate background again you can also put in an image that you already have in mind if you wanted to put it on a specific design or maybe you wanted to put it on like some old person's face or whatever or you can go to freeform and tell it what you want to put in there so you can also choose the number of images so if you want it like to give you eight variations instead of four you could just go up just keep in mind that will take some of your credits away if you want to keep it like for t-shirts obviously you want to go 9 by 16 but if you were creating this and utilizing this for a YouTube thumbnail then you'd want to go vertical with 16 by 9 so for example let's say we want to put this on a faded old man's face I don't know if that's going to come up with how about a gray haired old man's face and see what comes up with now again this is the best t-shirt idea but I'm just giving you examples of how you can kind of take what's already proven this same exact text design rank it with the same SEO and that way when people see this t-shirt you're bringing a new spin to the marketplace even though we already know this similar design is going to sell and now you've brought in something different to the marketplace that people can either say hey I want the original or I want something completely new so you could put this one that's not a bad one this one's not a bad one either again you can play around with this to give it different text prompts another really cool function of this software again too is if you wanted to swap something out so for example if you wanted to upload this picture let me show you an example from one of my thumbnails like if we wanted to upload this picture right here and we wanted to swap something out we'd let it process and once it processes you can choose different parts of the image and again this is completely crazy because if you just download or take a snippet of somebody's actual image, for example, like if we would go back to Etsy and we wanted to use this one right here, now this is kind of a blurry image, but if you maximize this a little bit, there it gets a little bit better. And then you could just take a snapshot image of it, upload this specific image into the image switcher on ZMO.ai and maybe take out the raccoon in the background and put a fox or maybe put like a platypus or whatever. It's a really cool tool that allows you to recreate designs that are very similar, which is the name of the game when you're starting and you don't need graphic design experience. So for example, if we wanted to take Benjamin Franklin out, we could do that. We just hover over and make him purple. And then we'd tell him what we wanted to switch it to. If we wanted to change the hundred to maybe a Euro, then we would type in Euro. We'd select the hundred dollar bill in purple there. And we click confirm mask and create. And it's just going to switch that to a Euro with Benjamin Franklin's face on it. And there you go. Now we probably should have selected Ben Franklin as well, because obviously he is not on the Euro. But as you can see here, it switched it to a Euro looking thing 
with Ben Franklin's face. So these are all a little strange money looking things, but you get the picture here. This is a really cool tool that you can also utilize. Now, one of the best ones as well, and one of the simplest ways, if you're familiar with AI art or creating your own designs as well, is just the text input. And you can swap and play around with all of these. There's also the image one as well. So let's say you figured out that this was a hot selling design, right? And you ran this specific design, like the main keywords into Etsy in an incognito browser, and just like the broad keywords and figured out that like, it was selling obviously for somebody, but there's not that many other people that are selling this similar design. What you could do is you could take this specific design into this AI tool in the text prompt and just type in what you'd want. So you could say like angry raccoons or angry fat raccoon, generate an image, and then it'd be something very similar to this, but with your own spin on it. And then you could just overlay mentally sick, physically thick in there. You could also put that in the SEO and make a very similar design that you know is ranked, but again, you're different differentiating you're bringing something new to the marketplace that other people might like better and that way you're not copying the same exact design and competing on price and who's ranked higher seo wise right that's the main thing here now one of the last ways that i've been using this and this is the best way is if you go to the image input right here one of the really cool things that has been working well for me on etsy and you again need to be really careful of ip here but one of the things that's been working really well for me on etsy is taking popular characters in tv shows and movies that are hot right now and essentially taking their most popular quotes but then cartoonizing them so that it's not the exact picture of them and you can still utilize them in the picture and their quote and then people that are searching for that specific person that specific TV show and that specific quote are gonna find your image it's gonna be cartoonized so it looks really cool and they're gonna want to wear it and buy it but also you're not really falling under the IP because you're not using that image you created one yourself now in one of my previous videos I covered the Schitt's Creek example of how I created cartoonized versions of David and put his like most popular quotes on an actual t-shirt and then sold them that was one that was working really well for me but another example of a TV show would be like the office so if we took like Dwight from the office we'd say like Dwight Schrute we get a picture of him let's just save this image we'll say Dwight and then we'll say like Dwight Schrute's most popular quotes look at some of his most popular quotes and pick one out so how would I describe myself three world three words hardworking alpha male jackhammer that's kind of funny but it wouldn't really go well on a t-shirt in my opinion the eyes are the groin of the head this is a funny one this would go good on a mug and on a t-shirt honestly it's better to be hurt by someone you know accidentally than by a stranger on purpose so if you wanted to take dwight and then cartoonize him and then we could put his face on a t-shirt or a mug or a backpack or whatever with that popular quote what you do is you go back into zmo.ai you go to the image input this time and you'd open that dwight image that you saved and then from here you could either turn him into anime you could turn them into like an emoji you could turn them into like a digital art add any of the styles here so that it's very similar and he's recognizable as Dwight to somebody searching because he's like a cartoonized version of him but at the same time it's not the same exact picture so that you're going to get the IP complaint on that when you upload Dwight's face to a mug on Etsy and this is one of the best strategies that's been working well for me on Etsy lately because again a lot of people are searching for this it's like almost like an emotional like instant click thing when they see it and they like it a lot of other people aren't competing in this space currently not necessarily with the office but literally any TV TV show any movie the key here is to turn them into anime or turn them into cartoons where they're recognizable but again you're not using the exact image on you know of their face or whatever but test this out this image tool is crazy you don't need any graphic design experience because again you can just play around with it use the text input the image input you could swap something out specifically if you wanted to change something up you could also go into the background and remove it add a completely new background if you want to there's a lot of use cases for this just in general but especially in Etsy when you're creating print on demand designs and digital art designs as well. And again, you also don't need to hire a graphic designer and spend a lot of money just to create these designs as well. So test it out. I guarantee you it will change the way that you're able to make designs both speed wise, but also, you know, just subscribing to this monthly plan. I think there's one as low as like five bucks a month, but just subscribing to that $5 plan that I think is the base plan is going to save you so much time because you're not going to have to create them. It's also going to save you hundreds, if not thousands of dollars, because you would have had to otherwise outsource this to a graphic designer anyway so test this out really hope it helps and this is really one of the best ways that i've found to create high quality designs that are proven again we're not copying but we're also not kind of creating things that we think are cool we're going after proven designs just replicating them and putting our own spin on them and tools like this make it more possible than ever